Good morning, saints, and welcome to the Dixon's Devotion with Pastor Dixon. Today we are going to be looking at Psalm chapter 12. And based on Psalm chapter 12, it is a, seems to be a continuation of chapter 11. Psalm chapter 11, we see David put his trust in God. In Psalms chapter 12, David put his trust in the word of God. In Psalms chapter 11, we see the deeds of wicked men. In Psalms chapter 12, we see the words of wicked men. And we are going to be looking at these Psalms. In Psalms chapter 12, the first half of verse 1 to verse 5 deals with the word of men and in charge of the rest of the the verses deal with the word of god now as we look at these verses and in this book we recognize david was saying the loyalty of man man cannot be trusted man words man deeds cannot be trusted the lie the slander the mark the try to deceive and he was saying where is loyalty today can you find loyalty to today even with friends? Sometimes you talk to somebody about your business and they say, uh-huh, uh-huh. Next thing you think you trust them, they go on and tell somebody else. Or some people try to bring you down and slander you and malign you and mock you. But David said, the word of God is trustworthy. He can put his trust, he can put his confidence in the Lord as we see here in verse 6 and the words of the Lord are flawless like silver purified in a crucible like gold refined seven times so we see when we look at the Bible the word of God is pure the word of God is flawless the word of God is trustworthy and we can put our trust in all of that. We can put our trust in God's word and in God's promises. Here is God promises in verse 7. You Lord will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked. Who freely trot about when what is vile is ordered by the human race. Even though the human race are not the things that are vile. Even though the human race um other the things that are wicked especially here specifically dealing with the mouth and the slander we said the, the term sticks and stone can break my bones but words can't do me no harm based on this passage of scripture it is not so words do a lot of damage but at the end of the day the lord said he will protect us forever from the wicked and not just the physical attack but also the verbal attack watch out for the verbal attack of man but you put your trust in god when you cannot manage the words of people god is the one in heaven will manage their tongue have a wonderful day and may the lord bless you